bam, 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 bam. Pick a boo, pick a boo, pick a boo. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, A to the K to the K, Alexander King Kwame. And welcome to the Hoodie Studios. And this tutorial is going to be about Style 3D Beginners Tutorial. Okay, so let's just hit into it, all right? So when you open Style 3D, you are going to have this interface right here, right? Yeah, amazing interface. So you're going to have your 2D here and you're going to have your 3D here. And also, you're going to have your two bars here. And when we zoom inside, we have the home, we have the asset. This is another side of the um, toolbar, all right? And we also have the tools. So you have a rendering, you have the colorway, you have your animation editor, UV, blah, blah, blah. So also you can go to file, new project, open recent files, save files, import, export, all right? And you can go to the user settings and you can change whatever you want to change here, all right? So, um, to make this fun, let's get started. Okay. So when you want to get started, we need an avatar in here. So when you come here, you can go in for your avatar. So I will go to, um, the library and when I go into the library, um, I'll go to the female and I'm going to choose this one here. And I'm going to add. So it's going to take. Okay. There we have it in our scene. All right. So we can click on our avatar right here. And we can choose the pose. And we can choose the gestures. So the, um, the left hand side. The right hand side. You know what? Let me try it and see. Oh yeah. So it's actually working. Um. Let me try uh, this. Okay, so it's working. So you can see. Um, so I will go to none. And it's going to reset to the original position. And at the face. I, I know you can add face in here. Avatar face name. And also the emotions. You can add emotions to your avatar. So you want to you wanna make your avatar smile. Surprise. Thinking, you know all of that so i'll click on my avatar again and you can change the hair uh, mostly um i like this type of hair so uh yeah this that type of hair and um we can also change the underwear cover so at this point we can choose this and let me dive in so y'all can see so y'all can see that and also maybe what you're doing you want um, your avatar naked so you can choose it without anything and your avatar is not gonna have anything okay yeah so i'll reset it and um we can also choose shoes so let me go in down here and now these are all the stuffs i've downloaded so you can go into the style 3d um library and you can download all these assets okay so when i choose this there we have it all right okay and um other accessories i can um say i want to go in for some glasses all right so uh let's go check so there we have it all right so you can you can download um accessories and you can drop them in your scene all right okay so now we want to create something simple all right so what we are going to do is i'm going to click here when you click here you're going to go into the library and i'll go to garment and i'll say female and we have garment in here okay so also we can also go to this button right here and we can go to the cloud and we can download all pending assets with this okay so i will click on this one and it's gonna take us to the cloud the style 3d cloud 
there we have all these stuffs in here okay all these stuffs right so let me try searching for um something and i will download it so y'all can see what i'm talking about here so let's say this one right here and um i will select and i will go to download and it's gonna be at the top here is it's uh gonna download at the top here so we have to wait for some time so we have it in here and i will double click and i'm gonna say open and i'm gonna say okay And there we have it all right so I can literally I can simulate so the patterns are not moving because let me show you why we have to select all the patterns and I will go to unfreeze Now you can see they are moving. Okay. So you can see the patterns are moving. So now if we don't want this position, I can select my avatar. Remember the pose. So I will click on the pose and I will go, I will say the eye pose. And it's going to move in with our avatar and with our clothes. All right. Okay, so that was easy and simple, okay? All right, so literally you can just go in and you, you, you can feel all these the straps going in through here. You can feel it. Uh, let me go in here and see. Yeah, you can feel it. It's through, it's through the um, waistband. All right, so let's get into some more simple stuffs okay so i will uh go to file and i'll say new project and i'll, I'll say overwrite and now we have a new project okay so as I said, mostly I'll, I like to change the hair, so I like this hair much better. And um, I will go to the library and I will just choose the female shirt. And I'll say add and I'll just add it up. Uh, so I will want to move it down like this. So just like that. Now for, I want to talk about the gizmo. Now for the gizmo, maybe you are not, you, you are not um, from the default. You are not going to get this type of gizmo. Okay. So what you have to do is, um, you go to um, file and you go to um, settings. I believe is um, yeah, and that operation preset. And you can choose to use the lock or the word. I'm actually using the locale. All right. So yeah, and um, I will simulate. Yeah, there we have it. So very nice, easy, and simple. Okay. So I can choose um, to make this more of an oversized kind of thing. Let me delete this one here because uh, I want to. Um... So, yeah, OK, we have symmetric pattern resolving already. So I want to push in this in here a little bit and I want to push uh 
this up in here so i will grab my curve tool which is the c tool and i'll bring this up here just like that uh maybe uh a little bit up here okay and um i will select these and i will push them up just like that okay so now we have something like this and um I will just select them and I will boost the size so just like that okay so maybe a little bit boom we have an oversized um, t-shirt okay so right at the moment I can just um, click this and I'm gonna say offset pattern outline and we can extend the distance uh, so maybe something like this I'll create internal line and I'll say okay and I will do the same for this here offset pattern outline and I'll just click and um, when I simulate it's gonna stitch together and also um, I wanna cut and sew and I'll do the same to this one here and we are almost done but I wanna show you some last two steps to actually take this to the next level so mostly when i'm done with all these stuff mostly what i do is um for this part i will just select and i will say you know what i will uh select all of them i'll right click and i'll say create lining so i'm gonna create a lining inside and it's gonna show up on the 2d and i'll place them here now lining makes these um your um whole fabric looks more realistic you know so now we're having it a little bit thick just like that okay and i will select and i will go to uh the particle distance and i'm gonna make it like five so very nice and just do this all right So this is going to be the end tutorial for this first one. So on the next one, we are going to talk about more advanced stuff. So you don't want to miss that. It's your boy, A to the K to the K. Alexander King Kwame, I'm out. Stay blessed. Peace out.